Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different, trying to change things up a little bit. I'm going to start with showing you some sprinkler head deficiencies per NFPA 25. Then in another segment where I'm going to be fixing a sprinkler head leak on CPVC. Now I did do a video on what to look out for when you remove a sprinkler head. If you want to check that out, I'll put up a link above or at the very end of the video. Without further ado, let's get started. Climbing into a ceiling to check out a CPVC sprinkler leak. And it's about 150 degrees in here right now. Where you at? Tap on the ceiling. I hear you. Just watch your steps. Keep tapping. Oh, geez. Alright, let's see if we see anything we can. I didn't feel like playing this insulation in there. Man, man. That looks like a regular sprinkler head leak to me. It's not leaking a I think it's just gonna be a sprinkler head, man. I think we'll start with that. But uh, in case we run into any problems and it not being a sprinkler head, cause it's like, man, it's, it's gotta be over 150 degrees up here. So we'll come back first thing in the morning. Jeez, that thing's full of water, too. Chew, look at that. That's the problem. It's just been leaking for a long time. I hope we got the right system to show up. And wiggle it. It's one of these made up. It helps. I can't tell. I can't tell. You really can't tell on these. You know, that's why it ain't right. You can't tell, but I don't see any fizz or not. And it's pretty loose. Pull it. Black man. I'm gonna drop my camera in there and hold up. So uh, we've been here a while. 
still going on, so we we're gonna go count this. and I wouldn't have to get back in this attic. But unfortunately, I came across the fitting that I don't have tools for. I'm sure they make special tools for these things. All right, just to verify that that thing's screwing in when you tighten it, let me see. Go ahead and try to tighten it. Yeah, just be careful putting that head, head socket on there. Yep, all right, hold it, it's turning. They make a tool for this and I don't have it. I'm sure we probably could have lowered it down and did it from down there, but what's the fun in that? I'm gonna hold back on this with a crescent wrench and let you just snug it up. It ain't gonna be too tight. Go with it. Snug, huh? That's it. That's it. That's why the head was leaking because they tried to put it in and they didn't have a tool either. So that the head, the head, the head didn't even tighten. It was screwing in on this adapter deal here. But I think we got it, man. And uh, let me get out of this hot attic. Make sure you move all your insulation back over that. The whole thing should be insulated covered up with insulation and it's not so one day we'll be coming to fix a busted pipe now removing this sprinkler head was a little different from my previous video as that one was on black steel pipe and as plastic usually is somewhat a little different and of course every time you do sprinkler work you're gonna run into something a little crazy but uh here's some more crazy stuff I ran into and I'm just gonna let this play without narrating it and just let me know what you think about this or anything in the video and as always i'm sure someone will disagree about the way i do something so but even so i do appreciate y'all watching until next time see you